Hello everyone, I'm EJ Speaks and welcome to my TED Talk, also known as My Crochet Fail. <laughs> so here we are uh, with seven braids left and um, I felt it was important to bring you along this journey. Okay, so if you guys remember, like two weeks ago, I done a video about Ari Lennox cutting her hair and also saying that I wanted to um, cut my hair as well. But I got the crochet braids as an alternate option. So basically, the crochet braids were like um, a guard against me being impulsive. Um, just in case I woke up in the middle of the night and just grabbed the clippers and start cutting my hair. So I got the crochet braids and it was like, uh, black girl magic, uh, cause this is what we do. However, I would like to go ahead and apologize to the community, uh, to all of my black sisters, my black queens. Uh, I have failed you. And it's really weird because I didn't think it would go this way. Like I thought it would be different. I just wanted to share with you um, the reasons why it didn't work. <laughs> Number one, I am not an expert braider. When you have crochet braids, the most important thing is your foundation. So if your foundation is trash, your hair will not hold up long. And so that, that's, that's one. I am not an expert braider, which is why when I braided my hair, I even went back and sewed the braids down. Because girl, I knew. <laughs> I knew. I knew. And that's why it looks like Moses parted the Red Sea in my hair. Again, it wasn't supposed to go this way. Another reason that this did not work, the hair was beautiful, it, it felt good, um, it was easy to install, and it was 30 inches. And so looking back, I'm saying, okay, why did you need 30 inches of braid? So I got 30 inches of braid, I got seven packs because let me tell you one thing, what I'm not going to be is out of hair and the hair store is closed. Huh? I'm always a person that would rather have too much and not need it than to not have enough and you be needing some. And seven packs of hair, 30 inch braids on my neck, okay? And so I'm trying to figure out when did I think? I could carry that much weight of hair on my neck because there is no possibility. None. It's a never for me. Okay. It will never, ever, ever work. Ever. And I just want to encourage someone out there. You know, you may be thinking, hey, why can't my neck do what it used to do? I just want to let you know that you're not alone because my neck can't either. So I installed these crochet braids and it probably took maybe an hour to do my whole head. And my neck was so unequipped, huh, to carry all that hair. And so I began to just pull, you know, maybe a crochet out, you know, a, a few at a time and it would, it would lighten. And I was thinking, okay, well maybe I just put too much hair in my head because you can do that, you know. So maybe I packed too much in, but girl, I needed to take extra vitamins to hold my strength. It was low because my neck, it would, I, oh, girl. They were too long to be convenient and then they were too heavy to be convenient. Taking a shower was a task because you don't want to get them wet and then they get uh, frizzy or matted up. It was just, it was just one thing after another and I kept saying, girl, you, you owe this to the culture. You. You, you can do this. These are crochet braids. You, you are a black woman. You can do anything. I couldn't do it though. So on top of a loose foundation, uh, super duper long braids that were completely unnecessary in length and also uh, having too many in my head on my neck. In addition to that, uh, I ended up getting a migraine and it wasn't from the braids, but you guys know if you have migraines, uh, sometimes they can be so severe that you don't want anything touching your head. And so I got this migraine and girl, I got a million of these coming out of my head and the tears that I cried the other night 
because of these right here. I had to set myself free. And so now as I, I am removing them, my spirit is saying, free at last, free at last. Thank God Almighty. <laughs> Ooh, girl, I'm free at last. <laughs> so like I said, if you're getting crochet braids, just don't make the same mistakes I made. Uh, your foundation is the most important part. So if your braids are loose and trashy, you're going to look like me in two weeks. So they need to be secure, neat, and tight. Not tight enough that you can't remember your social security number. But it needs to be tight like maybe a group of cousins. Also, do not weigh your head and neck down with a million pieces of hair. Get what your neck can, can hold, okay? Don't go over your neck capacity. Figure out what your neck capacity is, huh? That way you don't, you don't hurt yourself, huh? And most importantly, make sure you are still taking care of your hair and your scalp, regardless of what style you are wearing. But the crochets, I failed. I don't want you to fail, sis. I don't, I don't do better than me. Crochet braid, crochet braid for the Lolo. Crochet braid for the Lolo. Apes, ma'am, Miss Ma'am, crochet braid for the Lolo. They look good on YouTube. Boo. Yes, ma'am, for the Lolo, 30 inches.